Hello people, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek and after a long while I am uploading something related to technology. Uh, so uh, I'm as a data engineer working on Jupyter Notebooks. I'm doing a lot of data cleaning. So let's go through Jupyter Notebooks today. We will learn how to install Jupyter Notebooks uh, on Windows and let's begin. So Jupyter Notebooks uh, is an open source web application. So uh, it, it opens in the web browser and then you can, you know, write your code and uh, you can execute it. So so you can use the uh, Jupyter Notebooks to, you know, create uh, data frames. Uh, you can uh, work on your Python libraries and then do your transformations, uh, do your simulations. You can then load that data into, you know, CSV files or SQL Server or any of the databases. Uh, it is used for lots of data visualization for machine learning. And it is the tool which is used by all, almost all the data scientists. It supports uh, over 40 programming languages, including Python, R, Scala, etc. So even, even uh, when you uh, look into Databricks, they have notebooks facility over there. So uh, you can use the same Scala, Scala and Python. Uh, you can use SQL as well in Databricks. And I mean, which is, is uh, just like sitting on top of, you know, PySpark so that, that's a different setting but yes uh, it is almost similar to your jupyter need notebooks you can then share these note notebooks with your team uh, via dropbox or by sending in emails uh, there is also a facility called jupyter hub available where yeah, you can you know uh, in a team you can share the same notebook uh, which i'll not be com covering in this uh, video but uh, definitely uh, in upcoming videos we can expect something from jupyter hub it is very much suitable for big data integration uh, like it is one of the very much uh, i mean one of the tools that is used widely by all the data engineers and data scientists so the, uh, as i said before it is used in azure data bricks so you can use your python skills you can use your uh, scala or even java uh, to you know uh, work in data bricks which is actually uh, sitting on top of a spark engine so without any further delay let's uh, start the video we will be installing jupyter notebooks on windows so the prerequisite is to have python installed so if you go to google and just type jupyter notebook download and go through the installation documentation uh, you will see all uh, all the various ways you can uh, install uh, jupyter notebooks so we are going to use uh, pip uh, pip is actually a package manager for python and uh, it is used to manage and install uh, libraries and you know other uh, frameworks or packages uh, required so we are going to use pip and for that we'll have to install python which is a prerequisite for jupyter notebooks so if you go through the you can go through the documentation i'll provide you the link in description uh, it is the official uh, jupyter uh, website and uh, almost everything uh, you need to know is available here so let's begin with uh, python installation so i'll just uh, download you know the python uh, uh, binaries uh, from the official website google and then i'll go to python.org get the latest python binaries for windows I'll, I'll download the uh, latest binaries and then i'll uh, go ahead with the installation the installation is very easy so you, i mean uh, you will uh, not uh, you should not be facing any difficulties uh, so it's it's more of a gui based installation so you download it and then open the binaries the setup file once you click on the setup file you will see a pop-up is taking me a while so yes yeah, so, uh, once you click on the setup file uh, you will see this the uh, so this pop-up where you can you will see the ways you can install it so I'll go with the customized one because I don't want uh, it to go through the 
the location that was mentioned i would like to give a customized location so it installs all these things so it will have pip installed uh, all these things will be installed i want a shortcut i'm not adding the environment variable you can click it so it will add it itself but i would uh, show you how to add it if you you know forget or if you're not able to you uh, run python from your uh, root so for that i'll show you how to add uh, python as your environment variable so i'll go ahead and and change the location i've changed so i am i want uh, to install python on uh, c and i've created uh, i wanted to create a folder called python and then yeah, i'll have the python 3.9 which is for 3.9 that's the version of python i'm installing uh, i'll just fast forward this and i've started the installation installation will complete in a few minutes setup in progress so once it is done we will do the environment variable changes So I have just skipped through the process. Uh, it, it takes around 5 to 10 minutes to install. The installation was successful and now we will go in, into the command prompt and check the python version so see uh we do not we haven't set the environment variable that's why we are not able to run from the root so i'll go ahead and go, type environment variable go to the path and in path you need to change i mean you need to add uh, the location of your python folder so i'll go and browse i had it in c i it created a folder called python and python 3.9 so I'll, i'm gonna add that add that i'll also add another one which is uh, inside python 3.9 it's called scripts that's where all your uh, scripts uh, lie uh, for python so while calling pip uh, you you will need that so you can add that as well i've added python 3.9 i'll also add the scripts folder it's the same location python python 3.9 and then scripts scripts i'll select that after this i'll have to reboot my server i mean reboot my system you can you'll have to reboot your uh, laptop as well i have rebooted my laptop and we are back so now i'll go and type python version and i'll get the python version as 3.9 now we'll go ahead and upgrade our pip pip is the package manager that i had uh, discussed before so i'll i'll uh, see if, if it is upgraded as well i mean if i'm having the latest version of pip so i'll type pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip so as you can see uh, i have got the latest one so i don't need uh, so it did not go through the process otherwise uh, it will just upgrade your pip now if you go to the documentation uh, you will you will get the commands from there we just want jupyter notebook so we will go ahead and install notebook pip install notebook that's the command to install uh, jupyter notebook so once you run that you uh, see if you can see it is it has run successfully and uh, i will have my jupyter notebook installed so it is successful so that's it i mean uh, we have installed it and now we will see how to run it if you go through the documentation uh, it says you just need to type jupyter notebook and it should 
open the browser so i'll go ahead and type jupyter notebook and once you run that command it will open your web browser so it's a web application and once you run it it's it's like it kind of runs as a server look uh, on your local host so if uh, so that's your local host uh, web page where it actually loads the entire jupyter notebook application i mean so this is an application where you can create multiple notebooks and share and you know they're isolated notebooks you can do a lot of stuffs your data cleaning data uh, mapping data visualization everything from here so right now it is running from the root and like suppose you have your project in some folders so uh, to exit you can type control c and to exit so suppose i create a folder uh, it, suppose this is the folder where I want to, you know, create my Jupyter notebook. So I'll just CD to that path, CD that path, and then I'll just run the Jupyter notebook. Jupyter notebook. Once I run that same process, it runs in on the local host. Now this is the application Jupyter Notebook and to create my first notebook let me create a Python notebook and I will name it. So if you see this on top here this is where you can rename it. I'll rename it as demo notebook. Once done uh, if you go to your folder where you created it you can see a file created if you see this is the file so this is a python uh, notebook and uh, you can literally do all your python coding here so for example I, for i mean i would i would just print something let's just uh, so, uh, we will talk about all the things that you can do in notebook, you know, all these uh, features, the buttons, uh, we'll discuss in details in uh, later videos. But today I'm just going to do a very simple test. I'll just do a quick print. Print hello guys welcome back so this is where you run it you can uh, do shift enter or you can click on this button so yeah and, and this drop down is actually for your code or your markdown uh, we will go through uh, all these things uh, uh, i mean in later videos but for example if i want to just just write a heading kind of you know markdown thing so i can write start from a hash and then do a markdown and if i mark it as markdown and run that cell so this individual cell so all these uh the you know this a small area where you're writing your code is actually called a cell and that's that's what you you run run the cell or you execute the cell So I've done a, done this as a markdown. There are options to make it a heading as well. For example, if I do a heading, yeah, this is this is fine. This is just a warning. Uh, all right, I'll click OK or cancel. Yeah. So this is just a demo, and you can basically do all your Python, you know, addition, multiply, everything. I mean, all everything that you do in your Python coding you can do here late uh, uh, you, later we'll also do all our data cleaning here we'll use pandas we will use numpy we'll, you can use uh, 
plotly for your plotting uh, we will do all those things later but uh, for today we will just we have just you know installed a jupyter notebook on our windows system and we have gone through the prerequisites and this is how you uh, install your uh, jupyter notebook on a windows 10 system so thank you guys uh, keep supporting and uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos uh, revolving around jupyter notebook and you know all the things that i do at my workplace i'll be uh, making small short videos on that and thank you for the support keep watching Thank you.